I am so excited Dollar Tree has a ton of new fall finds and I found all kinds of great stuff. And I even found some stuff that I've been looking for for quite a while and I finally was able to find it at my Dollar Tree store. I'm Jamie, the crafty DIY guy. Welcome back to my channel. When I said I was excited, I definitely am excited because I found some great stuff. I spent about $100 on this haul and it is a mix of fall items, brand new items that I haven't seen yet. Also some items that I have been looking for in my stores that I have not been able to find that I finally did find. So I'm going to jump in right now, but I do want to, of course, say thank you to my subscribers. I truly appreciate you guys being here. I wouldn't be doing any of this if it wasn't for you guys. And Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. All right, let's get started because it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of little stuff. Um, stacking pumpkins. I found stacking pumpkins, this stacking pumpkin set. This was in the Dollar Tree Plus section. That's a area of the store that is set up in a lot of Dollar Tree stores. It's $3, $5, $7, and I believe some $10 items. And uh, I'm here for it. Look how cute that is. It is 24 inches high and it's three different pumpkins all inside of there. I can't wait to do a DIY with this. In fact, I saw Catherine from Do It On The Dime do a very cool DIY with this set. And as soon as I saw her do the DIY, I was like, I must find these pumpkins. And I was so glad that I did find them. So Dollar Tree Plus section, another item that I was super excited to find. I guess it really is several items are some fall colored yarn. Now I love this Just Yarn brand and I love it because they look like little fuzzy teddy bears. Look at those gorgeous fall colors. I am in love with these colors. I'm pretty sure there's a green also that's in here. Um, I, the, I'm not organized this haul at all. So, um, we'll be digging around in some bags and stuff. But uh, yarn, so cute. These are definitely gonna be the colors that I'm using for fall. And I fell in love as soon as I saw them. Um, the other thing that I saw in the Crafter Square section are these metal signs. They have a lot of different ones. That one says welcome. There's some that say home. There's some that say blessed. I've seen some that say believe. Um, I was all for it. And they have them in a lot of different colors. I'm noticing that some of this metal stuff is coming out in different colors, which I'm definitely, definitely liking. Uh, speaking of different colors in the metal, this is a great example. So you saw me do a DIY recently with this copper color and, uh, I had to have another one because I had another DIY idea for it. But then I also found the black and I thought the black could be so cool for Halloween. So that could be some fun DIYs coming up with those. And then also in the kind of crafter square where all the metal stuff was, I found this rooster. How cute or chicken, is it a rooster or chicken? It doesn't say on the back, I'm not sure what it is. I wanna say it's a rooster but maybe it's a chicken. Let me know in the comments below what it is. But uh, how cute is that? I really like that and thought that that could be great on a kitchen side or great on a wreath. I think that there could be some fun farmhousey fall-ish stuff to do with that. And I thought that they were cute. Speaking of fall, how cute are these little signs? They have some coffee signs out now. You don't even have to do a DIY. How cute would those be on a tiered tray? They are so, so cute. And there was like four or five different ones. I only bought these two because I thought that they were the cutest. And uh, honestly, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with them. I may do a DIY with them. I may put them in a mystery box challenge or something coming up for somebody else to do something with. But uh, super, super cute, loved them. Even thought that you could do some fun like revamps to them maybe for Christmas or something. I have been looking for these wood rings forever. I have not been able to find these at my store and I found this six count package and I did pick up two of them and um, they are so good for so many different DIYs. I've bought wood rings before from Amazon but I've never been able to find them at Dollar Tree. So when I found these, I was super, super stoked and very excited. I did also find the other size and they're kind of in the bags here in front of me. Um, pumpkin molds, these baking molds. How cute are those? That does, they do say they're baking molds. I don't know if I would bake a muffin in these. Um, I know that this kind of rubber, it's not rubber, but um, what is this called? 
it's not plastic, it's not rubber, but this stuff is really good for, for baking and different things. But I'm thinking it, they could be the perfect size for some fall cocktails and make these the ice cubes. How cute would that be? Um, I may actually try making some, some you know, muffins or something in there, but I think I'm gonna make ice for like a fall themed old fashioned or something like that. So more to come there. And uh, speaking of like edibles and food, I guess, good segue. Um, I'm addicted to this stuff. If you've not seen this in your Dollar Tree store or if you have seen it and you've passed it up, grab it. It is so good. It is so good. I eat a lot of chicken and a lot of fish and I have put this on everything. There is a like a mix. There's like some bay leaves, there's some onion, there's some garlic, there's some lemon, there's some lime, there's some nutmeg. Like there's just a little bit of everything in there. I don't know if there's nutmeg or not, but uh, love this seasoning. I don't know um, where that seasoning was hiding all my life, but I tried it one day and um, I have a smaller container of it. So this was a good find for me because it was a bigger size. And then also I found this gourmet beer can chicken seasoning. I do have a beer can chicken cooker for my grill. And um, I just typically use a poultry seasoning or something like that. And I thought that this could be really good on chicken wings or anything like that. So that's kind of why I bought it. Typically these things do have a lot of salt in them. So definitely taste this before you add salt and pepper because you never know. Um, you may end up getting way too much salt. <laughs> and that's definitely no fun. Now, uh, some harvest candles are starting to hit Dollar Tree and um, these smell so good. This scent is called Harvest Cider. But what I thought was super cute about them were the leaves that are kind of tied with this twine. The leaves are metal pieces, so you could certainly reuse those, do a lot of different fun DIYs. I think it could even maybe be fun to melt these down and put them in those uh, baking molds and make some pumpkin shaped muffins or something, or muffins, candles, or maybe even soaps or something. Who knows, I'm gonna play around with those for sure. But um, these smell yummy. And you know me, I am all about fall. Bring it on. Now, speaking of fall, another thing I found in the crafters, or not the crafter square, in the Dollar Tree Plus section was this. Look at that, it's like a 3D pumpkin. It was $5 in the Dollar Tree Plus section, but you can paint it, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. It says wooden pumpkin, I'm pretty sure it's like the MDF wood, but uh, how cute is that? And look at the size, that's gonna be a really good size for a DIY project, so I'm all about that. I'm super excited to get started with this. I already have an idea for this. I think this is going to be amazing. And this will definitely be a staple that will be great on like a console table or maybe even my coffee table in the living room and fun for fall decor. I use a lot of fall decor for Halloween as well. I typically don't do a lot of like scary Halloween stuff. So my fall stuff will, will live on for a little while. Um, this, these were a fantastic buy. I've never seen this brand before at Dollar Tree. Joseph A. My guess is this was like a closeout or something. They bought these in bulk. These are fantastic kitchen towels. They feel so soft. They feel like, like I want to make bed sheets out of these because they're that nice and they're thick and they feel really good. Now on this white one, it says my kitchen, my rules, which I thought was super cute. It's a two pack. And then there is a black and white one here on this side and it says time to order takeout. How adorable are those for $1.25? This was in the regular Dollar Tree section, $1.25. I was all about it, all about it. Now more fall stuff, so, so cute. Um, they have these hanging signs and it's a set of two. One is a pie that says gather and one is a piece of pumpkin pie. I guess that's like a, was that maybe an apple pie or a cherry pie? It looks like cherry pie. And then the pumpkin pie slice. How cute is that for a wreath or something? I think that that could be fun. And it's like, you know, very easy to take apart if you need to. Super, super cute, right? I was freaking out when I saw that. Now, this is a rub on transfer and um, it's not fall, it's not anything. But um, I loved what it said, dream until dreams come true. Dream until your dreams come true. Thought that that was super cute. Rub-on transfers are fun. You can put these on glass frames. You can do all kinds of fun things with these. And uh, I'm gonna put it, I think, on my pegboard and just rub-on transfer right onto the pegboard. And then if I need to poke holes in it for 
you know, gadgets and gizmos, then I will. And uh, I think that it'll be really, really cute on there. Um, they had some fun glass vases. And uh, I have not seen this one before at my Dollar Tree, so I snagged that. And again, great size. It was $1.25. It's a really generous size. I may just keep it exactly like this, put a very long stem flower or something very simple in it. And again, it's got some, it's, it's just fantastic. I really love that for $1.25. I've seen bases this size at thrift stores that are more expensive than that. Um, the other item that I grabbed was this cute little pitcher. How cute is that? Definitely something for florals. I bought it in white. They did have it in black as well. And I thought the white could be a little more easy to DIY with than paint and kind of change up if I wanted to. I love the texture on there. And um, it's almost got like a boho kind of a feel. And uh, thought that this was super cute. And I think that there could be some really fun, very, very simple DIYs that you could do with this. And you can add some, flor some fall florals. You could very, very easily do some things with that. Um, I did grab another vase. I've had this vase before, so you've probably seen this in a haul. It almost looks like a little juice glass or something that you'd see like on your table. Um, this I thought was super cute and I did have a DIY idea for this and my previous one I actually broke. So this one will hopefully stick around. We'll put it over there, that way it stays up. Now, these I was excited to find. However, they have had a rough life. Look at that poor little tag. It's been stapled and everything. The wreath rings I've been looking for. I did have a set of these that a friend of mine actually sent me and uh, I used them and now I want to have, you know, I want to use them again for another wreath idea. And uh, this one was just laying there by itself. Just a little, little sad looking with this uh, poor little tag stapled, but uh, the rings are intact. So that was something that I wanted to grab. Um, I found some, some stems some leaf stems and these specifically are um, maple leaf stems and they have this kind of orange color which is so perfect. I just think that these are so much better looking than some of the previous stems that we've seen from Dollar Tree. Like they, they look like like they look like real leaves. But also what I loved about them, so I got three in the orange and then I bought three in this kind of yellowy color, but how pretty are these? Like they really do look like fall leaves that you would see. And I have a maple tree out front and um, my favorite is when it turns these colors. So I'm excited for those. I think that there could be some really fun things that would not do that, but you get the idea. They're fun. You can do these with wreaths. You can do these with anything. And I'm all about it. Um, here's the other yarn that I found. Let's see if I did have a green. Um, I don't see a green. Maybe I was imagining the green. Um, this orange color. I don't know if I showed you that before. So that is the other color that was missing because I bought two of each one. And here's the other remaining pieces of yarn. So more to come there for some fun DIYs. Now this next bag is a bunch of like little stuff, but uh, I was here for it. I was happy for it. Now I did find the larger rings, as I mentioned. The larger rings come in a five pack, the smaller rings come in a six pack. So I did grab two of those because I think that you could do some really fun DIYs with those. And then I did find some macrame cord. I have not seen this at Dollar Tree before. Um, I think I grabbed two of these. Since this is the last bag, I'm trying to make this make a little more sense. But um, macrame cord. I've not seen macrame cord before at my Dollar Tree. And these were hidden. These were down in the bottom. And um, I kind of got to look around. But uh, that's where they were. So I snagged two of those. There was a brand new box that... Um, had just been opened and was on display. And um, there was other things that were stacked on top of it. So yay for me, yay for digging. Um, these wood blocks, I have hauled these before. So I did grab more of these because I have some fun fall DIY ideas coming up for those. So cute, so much fun to do. Um, the other thing that I found that I have not been able to find, I've seen other people haul, are these wooden bead sets. It's a 125 piece set. Now, there are a lot of little baby ones in there that I will probably never use for anything. However, 
These larger ones are definitely some beads that I would use for sure. And who knows, maybe I'll do some really cute fall things with the, actually just thought of an idea I could do with the smaller beads kind of going smaller to larger. So who knows, maybe, maybe I'll remember what that DIY idea was after I shoot this video. Um, these cloches, I've found the smaller cloches, but I have not found the larger cloches like this. So I found these and wanted to grab a couple of those because again, I do have a fall DIY idea. Speaking of fall, how cute are these stickers? I did haul these one time before and um, these were attempted to be used in a DIY that didn't turn out so well. So now we're gonna give that same idea another shot. These I thought were super, super cute. These kind of puffy stickers. This one I really liked because they just have such a cute kind of farmhousey. There's ones that say coffee bar and uh, what farmhouse and I love us and this is us and our nest. Just super fun stickers. And then this was another one that is just very home related. You know, um, we call this place our home. Friends and family gather here home, etc., etc. I thought that those were super, super cute and could be used for some fun DIYs. Um, speaking of more beads, I've not seen these wooden beads before either, these kind of oval shaped ones. So I grabbed two packages of those when I was at my Dollar Tree store. Again, I'm super excited to find those. The other things that I found, how cute are these little frames? They, they look like little pieces of you know, wood or shiplap. The only thing I thought was kind of odd is the placement of the clip because it's such a tiny space. I think I'm gonna remove the bow and move the clip up here and make it just a larger piece. But they had these in this color and then they had them in the black color as well. And I thought that they were cute. Now they do have a little easel back on the back of them so you can stand them up really, really easily. And again, thought that they were just so adorable and needed to have these in my stash because that's my jam. You know, I love those colors. Um, speaking of fun colors for fall, Crafter Square has some different modeling clay out right now. And I found this great orange color. Now, I don't know if this dries in 24 hours or anything like the other clay does, but we're gonna give it a try. How perfect is that orange color, especially for fall and Halloween DIYs and such coming up? I thought that these were super, super cute. I've seen these before, I've just never really played with them. I honestly thought that they were stickers, but it's almost more like a, it's not a ribbon, it's a pearl wrap. There's no adhesive on the back of them, but I do have an idea with these that I uh, want to play around with. These were just a silly purchase. Um, they look like diamonds. <laughs> it's vase filler. And uh, they all kind of look like look like diamonds. I don't know, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with them. I'm definitely not gonna fill a vase with them. I don't think anyway, but it's just a bag of diamonds. It's like a bag of diamonds. I wish that they were clear all the way through instead of having the silver backing on them, but you know what? I'll figure out something to do with them. Who knows? Um, I bought a set of jump rings because I feel like lately I've had like different necklaces or bracelets and stuff and I broke them. And uh, I wanted some jump rings just to have on hand to be able to fix a few things. These are so cute. Look at these little pumpkins, these little mini pumpkins. The black and white, of course, so cute, the buffalo check, and then the orange and white buffalo check as well. I thought at first these were garland, but they're not, they're individual pumpkins. And how cute are these? I kind of wish I would have grabbed more of them to be very honest, but uh, I didn't. And then the other thing I grabbed was a shaving brush, of course, in my favorite color blue. And then I found this shaving soap, and that's kind of what made me want to get this because I've been looking at these for a while but I never had the shaving soap or anything. And um, I want to try this because I've also got a kind of a vintage-y looking razor. And uh, I just want to have a, just a kind of a cool looking set on the vanity, I guess, or on the, you know, by the, by the sink. I guess that's the vanity. But uh, yeah, so that's my haul. That's all I have. And uh, again, super excited. I'm so excited for new fall stuff that's coming in. My Dollar Tree, they were getting rid of all the summer stuff and kind of condensing it over and it was just a bunch of empty shelves, which means 
there's a bunch of fall stuff coming in. So definitely don't give up. Check your Dollar Tree stores. Might have been a little slow locally, but um, I think they're going to ramp up here very, very soon. All right, everybody, take care of yourselves. And I look forward to bringing you more fall and fun. And uh, let's just have a great, great season. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.